I guess you compare it to the way that wages have grown as well. It's pretty significant for a lot of people, I'm guessing. So Sam, weekly news. Um, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, Chris. How was is, how is Melbourne? Oh mate, it was good. Um, yeah. yeah, so Taylor Swift, Melbourne. Um, Got to say, so many people in the city. Um, like pretty impressive, you know, what one sort of personal brand could do to an entire city for, you know, three or four days. Yeah, so. crazy. 96,000 people in yeah, three nights. times three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, no, pretty, cool. pretty, um, pretty massive. Eh? And the whole crowd was into it, which is cool. A yeah. lot of sequins. Um, <laughs> I felt a bit underdressed because I didn't have like a sequin jacket or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, glad to hear you enjoyed it. Yeah, but no, it's all good, eh? Um, and so, Sam. Weekly property news. Um, what have you got number one on your list this week? Yeah, so StatsNZ released some data on mortgage payments. So the average mortgage in 2022 was about 475 per week, yeah. um, and the average came out for 2023 was 606 dollars per week. Yeah, it's like decent money, eh? Yeah, like, pretty big jump. Yeah, especially when you put it on a on a monthly basis, eh? Like and if, sort of I guess you compare it to the way that wages have grown as well. It's Pretty significant for a lot of people, I'm guessing. Yeah, um, and that there was like an interesting stat in the area around the um, how many households had um, sort of a high level of disposable income going towards housing. Yeah, yeah. So actually, one in five households spent more than forty percent of their disposable income on housing costs. So that's for both renters and um, mortgage holders. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of money going into housing. Eh? Um, the, the other thing is, you know, obviously interest rates gone up and. Um, I think if you went into last year, there was a lot of discussion around interest rates tracking down this year. Mm -hmm. But then um, we've seen a lot of commentators so far this year saying actually interest rates might stay higher a bit longer. Yeah, just kind of stay stable there, which I guess stability is still good. Yeah. For yeah. The market. yeah. Better, better than increasing. Eh? Better than increasing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so Sam, next up we've got the Residential Property Managers Bill. Um, so this, I think, first went into the system about August last year. Yeah. Um, but there's been an update this week. So what, what's sort of happening in that space? Yeah, so the Real Estate Institute put forward their submission, um, which was generally supportive of the bill. I guess concern there is about striking a balance between regulatory oversight and operational flexibility. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see when that comes into play, maybe mid this year, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, a bit, bit, bit of a change for the property managers as well. Um, we caught up with Stu Bent from our property management um, division at Bailey's and um, generally supportive of the um, the bill mainly to get rid of the cowboys in that property management space. Mm -hmm. And I think in the moment, because you don't need to be um, like licensed or anything like that, yeah, you've got all sorts of randoms yeah. providing that service. Yeah. And, um, it's obviously like a really important service to be providing. So. Mm, especially now, I guess there's more renters than there have been previously. So I think it's, yeah, a good call. Yeah, yeah. 100%, 100%. And so number three <laughs> for me, um, Sam, so I've got the population growth stats from StatsNZ. And so um, this was quite interesting. It was the data on natural population growth, so like births and deaths. And they found that it was the lowest growth. This was over 2023. Um, lowest growth since 1943 wow. for um, births versus deaths at 18,000 gain, um, which when you contrast with the migration at like 130,000 net gain, mm. just like interesting dynamic, yeah. you know, like um, local families sort of growing slower, um, more migrants coming in. Yeah. yeah, I reckon it'll be interesting to see like long term if this kind of changes the view on housing and what's getting built, maybe more two bedrooms popping up, don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah you did definitely get that vibe, right? Like mm. smaller households and yeah. I guess um, the stats long term have been sort of increasing household sizes, I mm -hmm. think. Mm. Um, but yeah, whether it starts to track down if there's fewer people having kids. Um, Potentially, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something real, to look out for. Yeah, real, real yeah. interesting. Um, and so then next we've got sales snapshot, right? So um, Sam, whereabouts are we snapshotting sales from? Yeah, so we've got a sample of auction sales from Auckland and actually in this session, um, five out of the six lots sold. So it's a really good um, outcome. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Awesome. And um, what, what have you got first, mate? Yeah, so first up, I've got 81 Marine Parade in Hearn Bay. Um, this was the first time it was in the market for almost 50 years, a four bedroom, three bathroom on 860 square metres. Um, unparalleled lifestyle, close to local beaches, cafes and premier schooling. This was marketed by Edward Pack from Bailey's Ponsonby and sold under the hammer for 4.9 mil. Yeah, it's a cool house. Um, I've got 92C Hinemoa Street in Birkenhead. Um, seamless contemporary living, four bedrooms, three bathrooms on 213 square metres. Three level Scandinavian style townhouse. This was marketed by Libby Greenwood from Bailey's Takapuna. Sold under the hammer for 
4.59 million. Oh, and last up, I've got 44 West Park Drive in West Harbour. Um, take the plunge, this is a three bedroom, two bathroom on 658 square metres, located in a highly desirable area close to Northwest Shopping Centre, Costco, High Desire Schools. Um, and this is marketed by Angela Little from Bailey's Northwest and Cooper Spiller from Bailey's Kumu. And this one sold under the hammer for 1.43 million. Yeah, cool. And um, so Sam, which one of those houses are you grabbing this week? Oh, if I could, I'd, I'd grab 81 uh, Marine Parade in Herne Bay, but yeah. yeah, I guess girl can dream. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a pretty cool house. Um, and so Sam, next up going offshore, right? Um, Global Partner like Frank, so they've got their UK BTR market update. Um, so what was the gist of this one? Yeah, so I guess this covers all housing built um, just for rental purposes and um, what came out of that report was that investment levels hit a new record high last year in the UK despite kind of economic um, backdrop. Yeah. Um, but yeah, almost 100,000 homes completed across the UK, um, which is up almost 20% on the previous year and there's a pretty big pipeline of around 144,000 um, homes to come. So. Yeah, it's quite yeah. big numbers for um, built to rent, right? Yeah, it's interesting to see um, kind of how that's popping up in other markets. Um, and I guess to put it here, um, we've got the Kiwi Properties um, biggest built to rent development that's coming up. I think that's around just under 300 apartments going to be in Sylvia Park. So yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, shout out to Kiwi Property, give us a tour. We'd love to um, maybe <laughs> film a video there. That'd be quite fun. And then property of the week. So um, we've got some pretty cool stuff this week. So um, Sam, what have you got for us? Yeah. So first up, I've got 79 Bishop Lane in Marikana, Rodney. Turning the tide. It's five bedrooms and three bathrooms on just over one hectare. Um, discreetly situated on a headland at Tafranui, eight kilometres from the vibrant Marikana village and just 50 minutes north of Auckland CBD. Um, if you're interested in this property, I'd get in contact with Kelly Bissett from Bailey's Marikana. Yeah, it's a real, real nice home. And then um, for me, I've got 20 Kurapotu Lane in Rainbow Point in Taupo. So um, modern elegance at Three Mile Bay, four bedrooms, three bathrooms on 1,200 square metres. Um, construction complete in 2023, so pretty much new. Um, short walk away from boat ramps, parks, reserves, restaurants, and the local supermarket. And if you want to learn more about this one, contact Alison Whittle or Eliza Elsley from Bailey's Taupo. And um, yeah, well, that's it. Wrap it up here. So thanks, Sam. Thanks, Chris. Awesome. Yeah, sweet. And um, we'll see you next time. See ya. Yeah.